Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brody Brokemon. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Time. Where we left off, we had the story thing. So let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. And so, me and Brody formed an exploration team. This turned out to be the very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. Oh yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode. I'm stoked. And apparently there is a, there, they made a new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I didn't even know about that. I'm going to have to buy that and do a Let's Play. Alright? And yes, we will save our adventure. Woo! Let's get right into this, lads. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm going to try to upload this daily. I don't want to do what I did with my ass and like upload it five years apart. So let's, let's see if we can uh, get some consistent uploads going with this uh, with this game. Chapter 2, The New Guild Recruits. Yeah, let's do that. This is Wigglytuff's guild. To form an exploration team, you need to register your team here. Then you have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Y -y yikes Isn't there something just a little odd about this place? No. I've got Brody with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Cyndaquil! The footprint is Cyndaquil's! Ooh, ah. No, I have to be strong. You may enter! Someone's with you! So get that stranger stand up there! Alright. They probably meant you, Brody. They said to stand up here. That's a sketchy little hole there. There's a grate covering a hole. It's made so no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. It looks like it will tickle my feeder. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd be I'd be a little sketched out. Hey, you stranger, get on the grate! Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. Whose footprint, whose footprint? The footprint is, the footprint is, um... What's the matter? Sentry, sentry. What's wrong, sentry, Diglett? Er, uh, er... That's right, I'm one in a million, lads. Okay, that was actually the mate saying that, so never mind. I'm one in a million. Um, the footprint is... Maybe Mudkip, maybe Mudkips. What? Maybe? But, but, it's not a footprint you normally see around here. Ugh, that's pretty crummy. Checking the footprints of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but I don't know what... I, I don't know. Oh. What? Are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Well, it's true that you don't see any mudkip in these parts, but you don't seem to be bad. Okay, good enough. Enter! Yeah. Yikes. I'm so nervous, so jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Okay, let's go in. Alright, let's see what's in here. Let's go. There's a hatch that leads underground here. Wow. Oh yeah, this music. So this is Wigglytuff's guild. So many Pokemon, I wonder if they're all in exploration teams. Excuse me. Oh, it's Chatot. I have to be posh. It was you that just came in, right? Yes. Okay, Chatot sings like everything, so I'm gonna have to sing all the stuff. I am a Chatot. I'm the Pokemon in the... No, around these parts. I am Guildmaster Wilgate Huff's right hand Pokemon. Now, shoo, leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, please. No, that's not why we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. What? Exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this one apprentice at the guild, especially given how hard our training is. Surely the steady stream of Pokemon that run away from this rigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me? Is the exploration team training that severe? What? Well, no, 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 no. It's not true in the slightest. Our training program for exploration teams is as easy as can be. Well, well, well. I, w <laughs> I wish you would have told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. Hee <laughs> hee. His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's... <coughs> yeah. Alright, I'm not reading there, I just... 
<laughs> was just eating chips. And there's still some in there in my throat, I guess. Like, a little bit. Ugh. This is a guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. The team registration is this way. Come along, please. Alright. Wow, we're two floors under the ground, but you can see outside. Oh, please, hush now. The guild's built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural that you'd be able to see outside. Oh. <laughs> now, we here at Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber, on no account, I repeat, on no account should you be discordious to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Chatot. I'm coming in. Oh, man, my uh, my voice for Chatot is undestroyable. I mean, it's, it's just unmatched. It's unmatched. Guildmaster, I present to you two Pokemon who wish to join our guild as apprentices. Guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster? Hiya! I'm Wigglytuff. I'm the guild's guildmaster. You want to form an exploration team? Then let's go for it. First, we must register your exploration team name. Now tell me your team name. Oh, our team's name? We didn't think of that. So what do you think would be a good name for us, Brody? Pokey Pals. What the fuck is that shit? We're gonna be... The... The... Can you put a space bo- <clears throat> Oh, man. I don't know why there's something lodged in my throat. No homo. Don't you take it that way. We're the broskies, dog. The brosks. Oh, my God. I can't type. The brosks. That's good enough. <laughs> Is the name the brosks. Okay. The brosks. Team the brosks. Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. All settled then. I'll register your team as the Brosks. Registering. All right. Registering. All registered. Yumda! Congratulations. From now on, you're an official exploration team. I present to you with this in commemoration. Wigglytuff set down a Pokemon exploration team kit. Aw, oh, yeah, bud. A Pokemon exploration team kit? Yup, it's what every exploration team needs. Quick, open it up! Me open the Pokemon Explorer team kit. There's a badge inside, a wonder map, treasure bag. Yeah, there are all sorts of great items in here. That's your Explorer badge. It's your official team identification. And there's a wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, that's, there's a treasure bag. It lets you carry items you find in dungeons. Your success as an exploration team can lead to bigger and better space for your treasure bag. It's a very wonderful bag! Have a peek inside your treasure bag! Alright. A joy ribbon. A Fuchizia bow. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. So thank you. We'll do our best. Yep. But you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. We will. Let's always do our best, Brody. That's a plan, mate. Alright, but yeah, this this intro has a lot of talking. It gets a little more gameplay, but you know, this this game has a great story. This is our home. Great, we get bids. You will you will live here while you work for us. Things will start getting busy for you tomorrow. <clears throat> so rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late. Get to sleep early tonight. That is all. Okay. All right, mate. You wanna train us like that? <clears> oh. <throat> Nice pretty little moon there. Nice cutie little moon. <laughs> oh, are you still awake, Brody? My heart's been racing all day today over every little thing. But I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary. He seems pretty friendly. We're going, to have, we're going to experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow. But I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's give it our all tomorrow. Okay, Brody. Good night. Um, now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's really exciting to be an exploration team. And it's fun to be friends with mate. But first things first, who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I better focus on the guild's work for now. If I do that, well, everything should become clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. Look how cute Mudkip is when he sleeps. I'm adorable. 
All right, we'll save the adventure. Ooh. Yeah, this is just a long intro. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't think there's been any gameplay. It's all story. Don't worry, guys. This game guys are freaking insane. Exploration team quick tip. You can save a record of your progress by climbing to your bed. Thanks for the advice. Hey! Hey there! Rise and shine! Oh, my my head is pounding. W what a ridiculously loud voice. My eardrums. Uh. Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ugh. My poor ears. Come on, snap out of it! I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you're late for a morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it! Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper, so if you make him lose it... Yowie! That would be one very scary scene. I've got some goosebumps just thinking about it. Yeesh! Oh, anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got a blight. So get in gear! <laughs> Eric, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Er, oh yeah, oh, I forgot, I forgot he's Scottish. Oh yeah, <laughs> we signed up as apprentices at Willie's Skill, that's right. What that means. Wow, we totally overslept. We've got to hurry, Brody. That's freaking sprint. Book it out of there. Yeah. You're late, rookies. Hush, your voice is ridiculously loud. Hmm. Everyone seems to be present. Very well. Let us conduct our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance. Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. Zzzz, snorfles. Zzz. Psst, Guildmaster really top never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. <laughs> His eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Uh, thank you, sir. We'll value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers all together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk work. A two, a run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, get to work. Hooray! Alright. Hey, you shouldn't just be wandering around there. You two come here. Okay, we weren't even, we didn't even take a step, man. Whatever floats your boat. All right. You're just beginners. We'll have to start off with this assignment. This is a job bulletin board from various. Okay, you're well at bad Pokemon cropping. I'm in great numbers, right? Yep, because the flow of time's getting messed up. It's wreaking havoc, right? Which is why loads of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time's getting messed up. Time as in hours and minutes. Do they mean something has gone wrong with time here? And because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up. What's going on here? Precisely, time is getting time getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we have noticed an increase in the number of jobs. <clears throat> in addition, it's uh, all right. Mystery dungeons. So Brody, you know how we got my relic frame back? At least we found it was a mystery dungeon. A mi all right, we know what a mystery dungeon is. All right. All right. This is too much talking in this game right now, right? We want to go exploring. Well, you're quite informed, aren't you? This makes things much easier for me to explain. Jobs take place in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe this will do. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name is Spoink. An outlaw has run off with my most prized possession, my precious pearl. The pearl is life itself to me. I just can't seem to sell down if that pearl isn't in the proper place on my head. But I've heard the pearl has been sighted. Instead of being on a rocky bluff, well, this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I can never go somewhere so frightening. Oh, friendly readers, would we so kind of get the bluff pearl? Wait a second. We're supposed to fetch an item that someone dropped. I would rather do something that's more an adventure. I'd rather look for treasure and explore unknown places, things like that. Hush! Yikes. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention, I'll repeat warnings again to make sure that I stick. You'll be forced out of that dungeon and sent back to either your fans to lose all your money, and you're gonna lose half your items, alright, yeah. Alright, let's go to Rocky Bluff. Oh yeah. This must be the bluff's entrance. Boink's miss mission description said the pearl is deep down at basement 7th floor. Let's do our best, Brody. Alright, let's get into this Rocky Bluff. Oh, Drench Bluff. 
Need your partner can now hold one item each. Alright, let's see what that item does. We got converse damage and experience. We'll give the Fuchizobo to Brody. I cringed. Alright, we're no longer cringing. Good. Let's beat up these cradlies. There we go, that's one down. Come on, mate. <clears throat> that's right, he missed. Please use something else. Why is he never using tackle? Alright, anyways. Got the Pekka Berry, which heals poison. We know that. Alright, we'll tackle him. Good stuff for Beast. Alright, let's go here. We got the Apple. Alright, we'll stall that and we'll hit him with the tackle. There we go. See that? When he uses tackle, everything just becomes so much easier. Alright, there we go. So, what's going on over here? Nothing. But yeah, man. This, this episode has been so much talking. This game has a great story, but I always remember the intro just sucking because it's just so much talking. Anyways, let's tackle him. Because from now on, the game just pretty much gets exciting. Yes, level 7. Mate's HP went up and all his stats are going up. He's on fire. Alright, so that's obviously the staircase room. There you go. Thank you very much. Eat an apple again if you get hungry. Why does it give me so many tips? Does it not know I've played this game a thousand times? Alright. Oh, well, we just got our accuracy lowered. That's fine. Now, if you can make yourself useful this time, and not just use freaking random attacks. Why are there so many Pokemon? Look at this. Alright, you guys want some? I'll give it ya. Look, <laughs> mate is doing nothing. Come on, mate. I can't keep sweeping everybody by myself. Alright, alright, another one, huh? Alright, use Mudsport, whatever. There you go. That's what we need. Alright, why did I even do that? My. Ah, I suck at controlling this. Alright, team members were in experience points. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Where should we go? Good thing about having Mudkip. Alright, well, we can't do shit. Hello. Hello. There's one down. Come on, use tackle. Thank you. Thank you. I was slowed. Great. Just what we need. Alright. Now what? Another Pekka Berry. Alright. This is just... This is just too much now. This is too much. Why are there so many Pokemon in here? This is actually insane. Alright, this must be the way then. Hey. Alright, we can double team these guys now. There we go. Oh my, this is, they both use rap. They're just trolling. This is so dumb. That is, <laughs> like, what is even going on? Come on, mate. Yes. That's what we needed from him. He had to use tackle there. There, look at him go. All right, we'll just let you deal with him because we're in no condition to do that right now. All right, can you just use tackle? Thank you. All right, we'll go back over there. There we go. Like that was so dumb. They they, they kept on slowing me, and then using freaking cons uh, wrap max elixir. That's a good. That's a good item. Uh, we'll eat this orange berry. Yeah. Regain that health. Turn bonus experience points. Potion must use all of its moves at least once. Alright, well, we don't care about that. We just want to get out of here. Pokemon's XP gets low, but it's up a great wish from fainting. Alright. Alright, let's well, wait. Oh! Excellent! I leveled up! 
All right, good stuff, man. You leveled up. That's what we're talking about. Help your partner become a smart. T okay. Tackle, good stuff. All right. See, as long as he's using tackle, it, it, all the battles are ending pretty well. But when he doesn't use tackle and just keeps using leer and shit, it just sucks. So we need to get him to level up more so we can learn more attacks. Oh, uh, this see, this is what I was talking about. All right. This game is just about hacks. If you can make someone slower or something like that, it just goes in their favor. It looks like I'm out of PP. So we'll use this max elixir we have. Ingest. No, oh, I forgot we even had mud slap. Why have I not been using mud slap? This could have been going so much better. <laughs> oh man. All right, we made it to the bottom. Oh, look at that. This must be Spoink's Pearl. Let's hurry back with it. There we go. Thank you. That Pearl must have popped up. Okay, yeah, uh, just gonna tell down without it up here, so just boing us running over. I was sure to ding the bomb, but thank you that long hour is over. You have my sincere thanks. A protein, a calcium, an iron. 20, ah, uh, well, you know, 2,000. All this money for us? Of course, of course, that's nothing compared to my pearl's value. Farewell. See us, boink. We're rich, Brody. We got rich just like that. Well done, team. Now hand that money over, if you please. Huh? Most of the money for jobs goes to Guildmaster, you see. And your team share the money comes out to this much. Huh? We keep only $200? That's awful. Well, the guild's rule, you simply have to accept it. Hmm. Alright. Everyone, thanks for waiting. I finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. Yeah! Holy crap. Let's do this. Let's munch and crunch on some fantastic dinner. <laughs> ah, I'm done eating. Excellent meal. I'm stuffed. Now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, I'm off to bed. Good night, gang. Good night. All right, night time. Let's have our nighttime conversation with mate. Listen, Brody, what, wasn't they hectic? So much happened, but I'm relieved that our first job was a success. It was really upset now we have skilled took most of the money. That's just the course of training, I guess. We can't do anything about it. But what made me really happy today was getting thanked by Spoink. Yo, and I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best again tomorrow. Good night, Brody. <laughs> I didn't even reply. I just laid there. The scream. Alright, the next morning. Up and at him, it's morning. Oh, good morning, Brody. Yes, we will save. So, guys, that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. So, all of you guys should have a fantastic day. Hurry up and finish saving. What a long save, huh? There we go. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you later. Have a great day. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you later.